Don't worry, man. There's... Oh. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Bill Hader broke character on SNL. Anyway, the kids, the kids, they take For this list, we're looking at the occasions from Saturday Night Live when actor Bill Hader laughed or otherwise acted out of character during a live performance. If there's a Hader break that makes you break into laughter that you're broken up we didn't put on our list, break it to us gently in the comments. Number 10. Super Showcase Spokesmodels Bill Hader frequently plays game show hosts on SNL. While he usually manages to hold it together, this time his co-stars just proved too funny. On a show called Super Showcase, Hader plays the host Carl. You two look lovely today. Thanks, Carl. Shonda's wearing Christopher Kane. And Vonda's wearing a Christopher Kane knockoff. He introduces two showcase models, Shonda and Vonda, who tell the contestant all the things she might have won had she gotten the final question right. However, Shonda and Vonda's absurd voices and the numerous silly brand name products they showcase are too much for Hater and Kristen Wiig and Maya Rudolph. You'll be a real swinger with this. Hit the nurse matching golf clubs by golf club guy. Four. <laughs> Granted, if we had to watch Maya Rudolph talk about Chicken Man with a straight face, we'd be biting our lips too. How does Vanessa Bayer do it? That wasn't supposed to happen. Number 9. Short-Term Memory Loss Theater In this sketch, Hayter plays Dr. Arnold Kittos, whose work with patients suffering from short-term memory loss is revolutionary enough to let them perform a play. But through hard work and my revolutionary therapeutic technique, they have been able to overcome this hurdle. However, contrary to his claims, the actors must be constantly reminded of their lines, what to do, and even if the play is still going. The performer's clueless statements are enough that Hader struggles with his own lines sometimes, though more out of a need to contain his laughter. I'm here now, 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 now what do I do? <laughs> Look at him angrily and say, what are you doing? We'd be right there with him in this situation. And thankfully, I don't have that, um, what was the next line? Uh, is the play over? Are we done? Is, it... is the play over? No. Number 8. Hollywood Dish with Scarlett Johansson Hollywood Dish is a recurring fictional Hollywood show in which interviewers Anastasia Styx, played by Kristen Wiig, and Brady Trunk, played by Hader, annoy celebrities or trick them into doing or saying ridiculous things. I watch Hollywood Dish all the time. That's how I found out that Dabney Coleman died. Oh, no, we had to retract that. He's totally alive. Their interview with Scarlett Johansson is no exception. While Hader keeps it together for most of the interview, a bit of food comedy makes him lose it. After dousing Wig with a slushie and a bowl of meatballs during a moment of surprise, Hader shakes and is barely able to hold his look of shock. Personally, we're shocked that all three performers made it through the rest of the interview. Thank you for a junky time. Oh, oh she was she cool. Is so cool. Number 7. Coal Miners Coal mining can be a bleak profession. However, in this sketch, Bill Hader plays LeVar, a coal miner whose love of rumors brightens up our day, if not that of his co-workers. Please, try 46. What? <laughs> I'm saying Teddy lies about his age. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just picking at my coal. LeVar shares gossip about his friends and several townspeople, frequently making use of innuendos that his fellow miners don't understand. As hysterical as metaphors like opening a Capri Sun with an earthworm are, what makes Hater crack is whenever he has to drink an inexplicable iced coffee or consume a bag of Bebe carrots. I ain't getting at nothing except for my Bebe carrots. <laughs> Hater's minecart may rattle, but luckily he never goes completely off the rails. I'm gonna go ride this cart down and get me some more coal. Bye! Number 6. Dress Rehearsal – Ronaldo and Alexi Sometimes a sketch is such a train wreck that it never makes it to air. Such is the case with Ronaldo and Alexi. This scene follows a pair of doormen as they tell Christmas stories to children and sometimes adults. Do you know the story of Erololfo? However, they don't do a good job in recounting the famous tales. 
part of this is because they clearly heard them third hand, but their heavy accents also cause Bill Hader and Fred Armisen to break character frequently and dissolve into giggles. Once a bunch of children got together and they said, hey, from the snow, let's make a, a person. <laughs> On its own, the sketch is just okay. But seeing Hater struggle to keep a straight face while explaining what a snowman is always makes us laugh. The kids, they take him out into the sun, and Frosty's like, wait, 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 no, 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 I made snow. Don't do this, I was good right here. And then he melts and he dies, the end. Number five, Royal Family Doctor. For this scene, Bill Hader plays an OBGYN who has been chosen for Catherine Middleton, the wife of Prince William. Played by Martin Short, Rupert Smythe Pennington soon arrives to explain the royal protocol for examining a royal ahem. I will mark that down that you said that word once. Say it again, you'll be deported to Australia. Understood. Short's over-the-top accent, as well as his numerous euphemisms for the female anatomy, make for some hysterical comedy. Hater plays the straight man, and we have to admire him for keeping as much of a straight face as he does. Now, on certain formal occasions, you will find that the royal <clears throat> will be wearing a hat. <laughs> How does that work? But even he can't hold it together for the duration, and Short, and later Fred Armisen as the late Queen Elizabeth II, seemed determined to make Hater crack. What you waiting for? Get in there, will you? All right. All right. Number four, Girlfriend's Game Night. This gut-buster of a sketch sees a group of ladies gather for a game of Uno. However, they're annoyed when Jeannie brings her husband Horace. Not only is he an older man, he's a much older man. Horace, be careful! God, you are being such a dude right now. Men, how do we, ladies? Horace rockets around the apartment set in a motorized wheelchair, even as his expression barely moves. And then his ED medication kicks in, so he and Jeannie, um, make use of the opportunity in front of her friends. Wait, what are you doing? Well, we just have to take advantage when it's here, because, you know. While Hader shockingly manages to hold on for most of the scene, when his co-stars start to go, so does he. And so does Horace, for that matter. You know what? You should be ashamed of yourselves. This one is... Number three, Scared Straight with Betty White. Scared Straight is a recurring sketch in which several teenagers are lectured by convicts, generally led by Kenan Thompson, who try to frighten them into not turning towards crime. My name is Lorenzo McIntosh. And I'm his grandmother, Loretta McIntosh. However, the teens often poke holes in their anecdotes, which are often lifted directly from popular movies. Hater usually breaks during the sketches, but our pick for the best time is when Betty White guest hosts. Why, I recall my childhood in rural Kansas. I was bored to tears till all of a sudden a twister hit. It carried me to a magical land full of witches and wizards. Is that what you want? Is it? Watching the elderly woman try to act tough is funny enough. But when she gets up close and personal with Hater and begins playfully smacking him around, he can barely keep the giggles in. If breaking during a scene were a punishable offense, Hater would have gone straight to jail. And you will be playing Twister on the floor of the prison bathroom. Yeah. Number two, The Californians. This fictional soap opera is one of the funniest recurring sketches on SNL, so it's no surprise that nearly everyone breaks character multiple times in every installment. You guys are so happy that the whole family can be <laughs> so happy the whole family can be together for Thanksgiving. The Californians cast almost all speak with absurd, barely comprehensible Valley Girl accents and seem obsessed with California's freeway routes over any drama. That's a lie. There's no Baja Fresh on the 101. Is that a law on the 101, Stewart? Just get out of here, Devin. Hater's character Devin is a handyman and is involved in several affairs. But while Devin may be good at fixing things, Hater cannot stop breaking character. But we love him for it, as his giggles make these already uproarious sketches even funnier. Thank you, Aubrey, for bringing this wonderful California wine all the way from Santa Barbara County, California. Even the first installment of The Californians has Hater barely able to breathe. He should be careful going home on the 405 North like that. Get back on San Vicente, take it to the 10, then switch over to the 405 North and let it dump you out into Mulholland where you belong. 
Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Stefan Perhaps Bill Hader's most famous character, Stefan is a frequent correspondent on Weekend Update. While he's ostensibly there to give holiday tips for tourists, Stefan instead launches into pitches for outrageous and decidedly adult clubs with bizarre features. This club has everything. Clones, freaks, sneezing, a Russian man on a prepaid cell phone. However, because writer John Mulaney would switch up the script just before air, Bill Hader always breaks character as Stefan, as he reads out something absurd for the first time. Have you heard of Blackula, the Black Dracula? Yes. Well, they have a Jewish Dracula. Oh, what's his name? Sidney Applebaum. Oh, okay. Some notable examples are when Mulaney appears in person or when he brought up Dan Cortez, actually pronounced Cortese, repeatedly. Needless to say, this place has everything. Skunks, K-Fobs, Cookie Crisp, Dan Cortez. <laughs> Breaking character is so built into Stefan's appearances that covering his mouth to hide his laughter became a part of his character. And while New York's hottest club may change, its funniest club goer will always be Stefan. Stefan, everybody! The weekend out there on Seth Myers, that's Stefan. Good night. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.